from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. This is our first program, the inaugural program, our debut on RVTV Voices. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. My name is John Letts, and I've worked with children and adults in Southern Oregon schools. My experience has taught me that there are many approaches to learning a language. The most effective approach, in my view, is a content-based approach. That's what I offer you on the long, hard road to English proficiency. You may wonder why I'm dressed more as a blue-collar worker than a teacher. That has to do with the theme of our first unit of study, which I'll explain today. I'll also explain why my face is so dirty. Learning a new language has many challenges. I know these firsthand from my experience learning Spanish. There's often frustration, confusion, uncertainty, and the need to take risks. There are mistakes, at times embarrassment, and work, work, work. When we hear policymakers talk about education these days, we often hear the word rigor. It's used to measure the effectiveness of instructional goals for students. I feel that's wrong. Sure, there's a degree of rigor in any worthy undertaking, but the job of the teacher is to find ways through that rigor to make the learning less rigorous for the student, not more. The approach I take in ramping up your English is to help you reach your goal of English proficiency with as little stress as possible and to appeal to a wide range of learning styles using the wonderful technology of television and online video. Ramping up your English is a fun, low stress, and interesting way to learn English as your second language. So this program uses a content-based approach. The theme I've chosen for our first unit of study is trains and railroads. It's not a particularly academic theme, but there's all kinds of academic content embedded in the theme. Trains and railroads tap into experiences held by a great number of people, yet I hope you'll also enjoy learning more about the topic. It's a topic that interests people in a wide range of ages and cultural backgrounds. So I've attempted to dress like a train engineer. Here's my engineer's hat right here, and having all that coal fed into the locomotive of it's left my face smeared in soot. You'll see and hear a lot about trains and railroads during our first unit. That will provide the context so you'll be able to understand and build on the English you encounter in this program. So let's jump right into this theme. Here's a brief video clip that introduces our theme. Your English lesson begins now. The assignment is simple. Just watch the video clip and see how much you understand. That's where we'll pick up the lesson after the clip. Across America, trains carry people and freight from one place to another. When it comes to passenger trains, it's often more about the journey, less about the destination. Trains can take you to the edge of the continent, which in America means the edge of the ocean. It can transport people to the towering mountains in our country, 
canyons and other natural beauty are yours as a passenger without the responsibility of having to drive. Yes, trains can give us scenery unavailable by other means, but trains themselves provide a fascination for many. Passengers wait to board a train on a platform. A new team of engineers get aboard to move the train through eight hours and hundreds of miles, carrying passengers safely across the land. I'm John Letch, your host on this train trip. There are trains that move underground, subway trains, like this one in the city of Prague. Trains called ICE that speed passengers between major cities in Europe. New trains like this one, carrying passengers back and forth from the Czech Republic. Trains in Europe can show you castles along the Rhine River and the Alps in Switzerland. These are Swiss trains, and yes, they run on time. In Europe, most cities and towns are connected by rail. Getting to almost any destination is easy on the train. Finding your train at the station may be a bit of a challenge until you learn how to read one of these. You may never find yourself operating a locomotive or even being a train passenger, but you can still enjoy seeing and hearing and learning about trains. And who knows, someday you just might be welcome to board a train. More on trains coming up on Ramping Up Your English. I'm John Letts. So how is that short video clip going to help you improve your English? Well, we always want to start with what you know. That's the foundation for learning more. So start with this. What did you see in the video clip? Don't worry about anything else right now. Just focus on what you saw. Can you relate what you saw in English? Or do you need to rely on your native language? Maybe a mixture of the two? That's OK you'll find that your native language is the best tool you have now to learn a second language. Here's another tool that will help you boost your English into a higher orbit, a notebook dedicated to this service. If you don't have one of these, any piece of paper will do for today, but make sure you get a notebook for the next episode. Here are a few simple sentences in English relating to what I saw in the video. I saw people, I saw white smoke, I saw big engines, I saw the ocean, I saw tracks. My list can get you started, but be sure to add to the list. Use your home language if you need to, especially for objects in the video that you can name but just don't know the English word. Don't try to name everything in the video. 10 to 12 sentences should be plenty. You also can expand the list to what you heard. If you want to see the video clip again, go to letscreate.org where you can repeat it. Finishing this list is all the homework you need to do for this segment if you choose to do homework. You'll find more resources on our website at letscreate.org. You can also watch or download the program and others by going to archive.org slash details slash rogue TV. Come aboard to ramp up your English. You're watching episode one. This ends segment one. We'll be back with segment two right after this.